And now for a look at stories making headlines around the world. And we start with yet another diesel scandal surrounding German car makers. Now, this time it is not about emissions cheating, but experiments funded by the firms in which humans and monkeys reportedly inhaled the diesel exhaust fumes. For more on this and other news, we turn to our Duaram at the News Center. Adam, Volkswagen had already been under fire for its emissions scandal, and now a much more disturbing revelation has come out affecting all. All three major German firms. That's right, Simon. Local reports came out on Monday that a research group called EUGT, financed by Volkswagen, BMW, and Daim Daimler, uh, the maker of Mercedes, had measured the effects of inhaling nitrogen oxide gases on 25 healthy human beings at a German university hospital. These tests were said to have taken place between 2012 and 2015. The revelation came. Days after the New York Times reported that the research group had carried out similar tests on monkeys in the U.S. in the year 2014. They were apparently carried out to counter a 2012 decision by the World Health Organization to classify diesel exhaust fumes as a carcinogen. However, the VW Beetle used in the test was one of the millions programmed to reduce emissions when lab testing is detected, thus invalidating the data obtained. The new scandal has sent shockwaves through Germany and the country's environment minister described the experiments as, quote, abominable. A spokesperson for German Chancellor Angela Merkel also said they cannot be justified ethically in any way. Meanwhile, the car makers seem to be sidestepping responsibility and even going as far as denouncing the experiments. Daimer said it was appalled by the extent of the EUGT studies and their implementation. VW, while apologizing for the test, insisted it explicitly dis distances itself clearly from all forms of animal abuse. BMW denied it was involved in the studies. All three firms decided in late 2016 to dissolve the EUGT, which finally shut its doors last year.